people, good morning. My name is Bea Teresa Peralta Mainigo, and I'm representing the summer capital of the Philippines, Baguio City. Welcome to Baguio. Welcome to Baguio. <laughs> <laughs> so you have 30 seconds. Tell us something about yourself. Wow, okay. Um, I actually grew up in Pangasinan and I studied here in Baguio. And that's when I was discovered. Um, I never actually thought that I would be doing this, um, the pageant um, thing. But Baguio just opened so many doors for me. Um, when I was in college, um, somebody invited me to join a pageant. And I was hesitant at first. But then... I was just being my curious self who wanted to try new things. Um, what's the most beautiful word, word in your local language and what does it mean? Well, uh, I think um, one beautiful word in the local language of Baguio is Bagtit, which means crazy. <laughs> Because I think in life, we need to um, not be serious all the time. We need to have fun. So we have to be crazy in love, crazy in our aspirations in life. And we have to crazily work hard for the things we want to happen in our lives. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Bagtit. <laughs> But Nathan, um, what one learning experience that you had as a child made much impact? I think the one learning experience that, as a child, um, it's learning to go out of your box. Um, it's not because you were raised of uh, this particular way. You have to be that for the rest of your life. You can explore, you can be more. And and that's what I learned. And that's why I've I've decided to advocate for equality because before uh, I've experienced not being that same opportunity as others. Um, what one major lesson did you learn from your experiences during the pandemic? The major experience that I've learned uh, during the pandemic is that I learned that I am strong. Um, in this pageant, um, we've we've been here for eight months already, and I, and I've faced challenges that I never thought that I would overcome, and it's surprising that I'm still here in front of you, um, still fighting for the Miss Universe Philippines crown, and yeah, that's what that's why I'm really proud of myself because after all that happened, uh, yeah. <laughs> You only have 30 seconds for, <laughs> for <a> question. <laughs> well, if you win the crown, how would you help your community? If I will win the first ever Miss Universe Philippines crown, it would be such a big honor and responsibility, not only for me, but also for the people around me. Um, whenever I join a pageant, I always make sure to take the opportunity to make a difference, not only for myself, but also for the people around me, and to always make an impact where it counts in the eyes of God. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenon of woman? I, I believe that the color that symbolizes a phenomenal woman is color white because a phenomenal woman is pure and pure in her intentions pure in in everything um she is real she's pure she's real and she is not pretending to be anyone she is a phenomenal because she is a woman and the woman is pure <laughs> um, now that we are in this in the beautiful city baguio um, name one spot, whether it's man-made or natural, that you would like to promote to the world. Um, the, that one spot that I would choose is something that I'm not sure if uh, if it still needs promoting, but I would choose Burnham Park because Burnham Park, though. 
you often hear it, it's the place for all people. Um, if you visit the Burnham Park, you will see kids um, playing in the playground. Um, um, even teenagers would um, um, ride the boat or go biking. You know, even our titas and lolas are doing Zumba sa Burnham Park. So, uh -huh. yes. <laughs> Next time, mag-zumba tayo doon. Oo oh, nga po. <laughs> okay, so, um, what, what skills does the workplace of the future need? Since work from home is the new norm. So, what are the skills you think is needed now in the workplace? Other than dedication, I think it's confidence. Confidence is the most important skill that any person should have. Um, we will face challenges in our lives. That's why it's very important that we have confidence in ourselves, confidence in what we do, so that we'll be able to overcome everything that we will face. There's a campaign that's hashtag love local. So what local products would you promote and why? I would promote the Wallis here in Bagu. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very well promoted also even worldwide because um, the Wallis, um, it's used for cleaning. So um, it's very important that we keep our surrounding, surroundings clean. It's, it's a, um, com uh, we should have a combined effort in protecting our nature, protecting our environment. And yeah, that's why I choose Wallis. <laughs> Sense. And last question is, what one thing should young people like you focus on? That one thing that we should focus on is self-love, actually. Um, in this world where you will be, where there will be a lot of people who will ask you to be someone who you're not, um, you have to always go back to who you are. You need to love yourself. Because if you do not love yourself, you won't be able to love others. You won't be able to serve others and the people around you. That's why it's very important to self-love. <laughs> Welcome to Baguio City. <laughs> yes.